Good morning, I'm Dr. Allison Connor here at Advanced Animal Care and we wanted to take a few minutes aside to talk a little bit more about the telemedicine services that we've been offering. We do have some telemedicine options. Currently our options are through Facebook Messenger and if that is something you're interested in doing then uh, if you schedule one of those appointments what we'll need you to do is go to AAC Telemedicine and become a friend and then at that point we would be able to, to contact you through Messenger at your appointment time. We can also do FaceTime. Um, of course you do have to have an iPhone or an iPad for FaceTime but that's an option as well. We just need to make sure we have a current telephone number for you. Our third option for those who may not have Facebook or an iPhone would be Zoom and that's just an app that you would need to download and then you could contact us for further information on how to use that. We do need a, a good email address to do that but just call if you have any questions about that. With our telemedicine services, it's not going to be an option for every situation. Um, definitely call if it's something you're interested in and we can let you know if it is a condition that qualifies. We can only do telemedicine if we have seen your pet within the last 12 months. And again, depending on the condition that we're dealing with, it may not always be applicable. It may not be a service that we can do for your pet. Uh, but certainly call if it's something that you are interested in. If we determine that your pet and your pet's condition does qualify for telemedicine, we will schedule you an actual appointment time. And what you can expect is that sometime around that appointment time, please give us a little leeway as we are getting backed up at times but ideally within 10 minutes of that appointment time you should get a call from us probably the doctor or it may be one of the triage nurses to triage may have you do a few things with your pet we do want them to be readily available well-lit area so that we can maybe do a few exercises to help us with that physical exam portion so one thing is we may ask you to kind of lift up the lip to show us their gum color. We want to make sure they're good in pink. Maybe we can get a little peek at their teeth. Um, do the best you can. We know everybody's not always very cooperative. That's perfect there on this guy. We may ask you to do some range of motion exercises. Lift the head upwards. Now downwards. And then side to side. Very good. Um, along the back we may have you palpate for any pain so we're gonna have you gently pinch down the back all the way down the back for any signs of reaction there he may ask you to um, in certain situations if it's a skin situation bring that lesion a little closer to the phone and then ear um, as Carrie was showing us was perfect there we might have you get a little close up on the ear so we can peek in there same thing with the eyes we may get a close-up on those eyes and again depending on the situation we may ask you to, to do different things but definitely have that pet there in an area where where we can have you do a few things where we can see as well as possible a telemedicine visit um, and if you qualify for that we are able to still prescribe medications that we see warranted again we may determine that your pet needs to physically be seen and if that's the case after a telemedicine visit you won't be charged twice for that exam. Telemedicine visits are the same cost-wise um, for a regular exam or if it's a recheck for a recheck exam. But again, if we feel like we need to get our hands on that patient, you won't be charged twice for that exam. We hope this helps you guys out. Stay safe.